Hey, this is Justin with GoVacuum.com, and I'm here today with the best deal in an upright form for Amila, the Amila Twist. This vacuum cleaner is a great vacuum cleaner. It's very similar to uh, all the other S7 series, as you can see here, with like the Tango and the uh, Swing and Belair and everything like that. The vacuum cleaners themselves are the same as far as the motor goes and cleaning ability. There's just differences with speed control and different filtrations and a few things like that. So let's go over this one. Uh, this is their entry level machine. One of those features that you don't have that you have on other models are the headlight. On the Twist you don't have a headlight um, and you do not have the HEPA filter that comes standard. Uh, this one has Mila's air clean filter that comes standard on it and that you just open up and you change this. It comes with a package of bags. As you can see it does filter very well in itself without the HEPA filter, but if you do have severe allergies you might want to upgrade to the HEPA filter or just go ahead and buy the uh, GoVacuum uh, Ultimate Pet Edition which comes with the HEPA filter. Um, and you can check that one out just by clicking right here. Um, but on the Mula Twist itself, uh, as we said, you have no headlight, uh, standard filtration. Another feature that it has different is the turn knob speed control. And that's different than the Tango and the uh, Swing and Belair. Uh, where those have a digital um, speed control that you push button, this one you turn to reduce the suction, increase the suction. So let's go ahead and start the vacuum cleaner. You can see you have two switches right here. One turns the vacuum cleaner on and off, and the other one turns the brush roller on and off so you can go from bare floor to carpeting. And then all of our tools are located on the back and recessed inside the body. But let's start it off with how to do start it. Turn it on here. In the vacuum carpeting, you push the brush roller on. And you can see a light comes on here that says for carpeting, and that, that way you know you're doing carpeting. And you can also feel it pull forward because the forward motion from the brush roller is going to allow it to pull forward a little bit easier. So we know we're doing carpeting, and let's try the carpeting. Um, one thing about this machine is it twists. It's very easy. Just start going like this. This is the reverse. And you can get our new post everything pretty well. Let's see how it handles better here. Before I got to the pet hair, it actually cleaned the pet hair and pulled it in, and that's thanks to the agitation from it. And the way the meal is loaded with the roller, it is a chevron roller, but it's spring loaded, so it allows it to push up into the body of the power head, which is a little bit different because it is not a height adjustment system, it's auto height adjustment. But I'll go over that in a second. I'm going to show you how it works on bare floor here. I go to bare floor, I hit the switch right here, turn it to floors. That allows me to stop that brush roller. And it is a twist model, so I can go right up against something that pulls all the hair in, and as I say, you can put a twist, then maneuver it very easily. Come back on the carpet, activate that switch, I'll take it back there, and it just like that. So, how do I use the tools? To use the tools, all I have to do is just pull the tools straight off while it's running, just like that. And you have a stretch hose here that works very nicely, and you can even lock it in place, and what that does this is kind of unique to Milo. That keeps the machine from tipping over. You will not tip this vacuum cleaner over by pulling on this hose thanks to that lock. The other feature you have is a telescoping wand here. It telescopes up and down just like that. And you can even put on a dust brush or a crevice tool on the end. Very nice long crevice tool comes with this one so I can stand here and I can vacuum down to the corners. I can then go up high to vacuum or even higher if I need to. And that's really convenient and nice and handy to use. Uh, also included on the tools are the dust brush, which is a really, really cool one because it swivels. So now I can get underneath uh, the refrigerator and everything like that just by going like that, thanks to the uh, twist feature on the dust brush. Because it is a Mila twist, not only does the vacuum cleaner twist, but so does the dust brush. And we have the upholstery tool, and that does your stairs and upholstery and everything like that. As I said, with the Go Vacuum Ultimate Pet Edition, it's better because you have a spinning hand brush that comes with it and that you can use on the uh, stairs if you have carpeting. When you're done using the hose, you can just take it and pop it back onto here, just like that. Everything locks back into place. And if I wanted to use the hose without the wand, I could do that just by pulling off this hose here, like that, thanks to the clip right there. Now, to uh, get into the bag of the vacuum cleaner, it's very easy. All we do is we take the front here, open this up, and it, you can see it is a chamber here that has a HEPA, I'm sorry, it has a cloth bag. It's not a HEPA bag, uh, but it is uh, Mila's new air clean bag, which has nine layers of filtration. You take it off just by pushing down and pulling out. And as you can see, it closed off so that none of this dirt is flying up to hit us in the face. 
thanks to the spring loaded tab here, you just throw the bag away, just like that, and you're good to go vacuum. Um, here we have a filter that sits inside as well, and this filter comes with every package of bags and you change it every four bags and that's why Mila gives you four bags in a box along with that filter and your exhaust filter those should be changed every four bags to load the bag in we just take the bag and slide it up and lock it into place as you see here if you look real close you see all these divots and pockets here along the front door and along the filter what that's for is for full suction um, if your bag was full and it was to sit up against that cage air will still pass behind the bag giving you a full bag capacity whereas most vacuum cleaners the bag lays on the filter so you fill up the bag and about halfway through it you have to change the bag you won't have to do that with the needle twist uh, to change that one filter you saw what we did we pulled it out and we put the filter in and then to close it pops just like that and that ensures good filtration in the seal and down on the bottom plate here it's really cool because we have our caster wheels just like the Mila canisters have big wheels in the back that are non -mar marring wheels that are made of rubber that's dirt repellent so the dirt will not stick into the wheel to scratch a hardwood or a tile or anything like that when you go on there the chevron roller so all the dirt is angled to the suction chamber and even a nice little slice here a uh, slot here to take our uh, razor blade and scissors and we can slice off the pet hair and everything like that should it get wrapped around the roller brush. The other thing too, as I said, this is spring loaded so it's not a height adjustment, it's an automatic height adjustment on the vacuum cleaner, it does not have a turn dial but this is the exception to the rule as to uh, why this one cleans so well without height adjustment because the spring loading here is pushing down onto your carpeting. So this is really cool and really effective when it comes to cleaning the carpet. Nice squeegee in the back prevents any dirt as you're going on the hardwood to uh, escape it or get knocked by the roller brush if it was accidentally turned on all over your floor. And then also a metal bottom plate and it never does touch your hardwood floor or uh, uh, tile so it won't scratch it. And a full bag indicator right here on the front tells us when the bag is full and this will turn orange. And then our speed control allows us to increase and lower the suction. So as I'm doing this and I'm doing the draperies or something like that, if I turn this down You'll hear it's much quieter because I have minimal suction. I turn this up, I have much greater suction now. And then uh, turn it back down. As I said, when you're doing your upholstery, uh, curtains, drapery, something like that, you don't want to pull the curtains off the wall. Um, this is the Mila Twist, though, and at this price, this is Mila's entry level uh, S7 Upright series. It has the same exact motor that the Swing has, that the uh, Tango has, that the Belair has. And everything like that and the Jazz is just Mila's entry level machine. So the biggest upgrade from here is to go into the Jazz. The Jazz is going to give you the headlight and the HEPA filter standard. So if you don't need a uh, HEPA filter, you don't have terrible filtration, you don't care about the headlight, the Twist is a great way to go. If you do have allergies, you might want to think about upgrading to the Jazz or popping a HEPA filter on the Mila Twist here. Any questions about the Mila S series, uh, S7 series upgrades, give us a call at 888-468-2210. All seven days of the week, Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And on Sunday from 11 a.m. until 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can chat live with us at GoVacuum.com where we offer chat support during those business hours. Or give us a call at 888-468-2210. And always on email, info at GoVacuum.com. I'm Justin with GoVacuum.com. This is the Mila S7 Twist Vacuum Cleaner. Thank you.